Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cage Rage UK, UC MMA 22, Warrior Creed. And one of the, the most anticipated fights, Alex Reed versus Jason Badass Barrett. The event is live on Primetime TV in association with Cage Rage, sponsored by GBR Nutrition. And both of these guys, I've been told you get a year's supply of GBR Nutrition for you and for you. Thank you, GBR. And plus, and that's Ray Ramroth over there, the owner, and officialwatches.com, uh, .co.uk are putting up a Rolex watch for the winner. So guys, there's a big one for both of you to be wearing a nice Rolex for the winner. Uh, officials for this show are going to be Andrew Sledge, uh, Leon Roberts from the UFC, and our first lady ref, Daniel Cousin. But the man who's in control of this fight, that's why I put him in between his two, is Granite Grant Waterman. Both these guys off the bell, there's no backing down. They will go for the knockout or go for the submission. It's one of them fights that they're not going to pity parry around the cage. I know both of these guys, they're both angry. Well, one's angry, one's placid. The question is, why did I set the fight up? Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Hold on, right. Hang on. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, people may say I'm not a man, but I am a man. And this man's got a little bit pissed off. This gentleman here has actually harassed me when I was with my lady friend at a restaurant. She's, he's scared her very much. And do you know what? I actually quite fancy this. And I'm quite looking forward to this now. So bring it on. I'm feeling very good in the gym. So why not? Game on. Game on. Anything to say to that, Jay? At the end of the day, he's been ducking this fight for over a year. <laughs> yeah, he's been ducking, he's been ducking, he's been ducking. I've called him out on numerous occasions. And yeah, I had to stoop to some pretty low levels. Like I said to the ladies and gentlemen of the press earlier, I, I, I had to reach into my uh, DVD Good collection and pull out um, Rocky, I think it's Rocky Five, And um, I, had to, I had to get a bit creative with this one, I suppose. To, to, to get him to sign the contract and you know what upset his lady friend whatever you know what I mean at the end of the day I, 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 I was actually quite surprised after that for the first after that incident I actually saw a bit of fire in his eyes and now uh, we haven't seen that since he started mucking about being Roxanne we ain't seen that fire in his eyes you know what I mean so I've done him a favour to be honest I've actually reminded him of who he's supposed to be who he really is he's supposed to be a fighter he's supposed to be a warrior he's supposed to be one of us so unfortunately I had to you know stoop to those levels but the long and short of it is I've got the fight now and come August 6th I'm knocking him clean now listen I, I I may have retired officially, but I love this with a passion. I'm in the gym pretty much every other day, and I'm training with the world's best people who are fighting at the top of the league in Pride, Dream, the UFC, and holding my own and you know busting them up. So this is fun. I love this. You know this. Listen, I wouldn't normally take in this fight. I mean, I, I get called out all the time, but all of the a lot of different people who want to make a name for themselves. But this is a good opportunity for me to get very fit and to have some fun, and that's what it's all about. I mean, he's taking this a bit personally, I think, but to me, this is a game. I'm not a, a fighter, I'm a sportsman. And we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment. See, that, that, that says it all. That, that <laughs> says it all. This is a game. This isn't a game. Going into a cage, yeah, two men oh, going into a cage, throwing leather, one trying to knock the other out or submit him, you know, it's not a game, you know, you play football, you play basketball, but you don't play fighting, yeah, so I, I, the way he gets his, this, this, this is what I'm talking about, he's lost the fire, he's lost the spark, and at the end of the day, I think, you know, he, he's going to come unstuck come August 6th, he's going to come unstuck, I mean, yeah, you know, he does come from a very good gym, I understand that, but the long and short of it is, I personally, I know for a fact that I'm a better athlete than him. I don't think there's anything athletic that he can do that I can't do much better. I'm, I'd be a faster runner than him. I'd be a higher jumper than him. I'm a better athlete. But I'm, I'm just all round a better athlete. If Alex weren't doing this, Alex would either be a builder or a male model. <laughs> Simple as that. I would just like to, I'd just like to add there, Alex, Alex, and it is true, the wartime crew, we filmed Jason the other day after he's been training in Tenerife in high altitude, he's come to that gym, and uh, you can back me up on this, he was jumping, Alex, literally this high onto boxes, he was smashing bags, I've never seen an athlete, I mean, you really turned it around, Jay, from what I saw, he has really turned it around, so Alex, I do, trust me, if you're not training as hard, you're in for a big shock, mate, so really, and you know the bet I've made, I do believe in you, but I actually believe in that guy at the moment yes, a lot more. Look, look guys, you, you know, yeah, I'll drink champagne. <laughs>
That's what we're worried I'm about, a Alex. Comedian in this sport, you know, I'm a exuberant entertainer in the sport, and to me, it is a game. It's, a, it's entertainment. It's not a real fight. Fighting's in a war zone. Fighting's on the street. This, there's a there's a referee. There's all the different things to protect the athlete's safety. To me, that's why it is a game. But, <laughs> and the but is, you'll see in my eyes, when that bell goes, when that buzzer goes, yeah, you'll see the real review. The long and <laughs> short of it is, they're, 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 look, Alex knows, the st Alex knows the background to this, why, why there's a bit of bad blood between us at the end of the day, and why I've been looking for this fight you know, for, for a long time. Alex did something that I think steps outside of the Warriors' creed. Um, and, and so from that, I've, I've been looking for him. Um, but the truth of the matter is, I think fighting solves everything. I really do. And, and that's the long and short of it. So once we get in there, and once I've smashed him up, and once I'm wearing my belt and my new Rolex, of course I'll shake his hand, I'll drink, I'll drink, a I'll drink that whole bottle of champagne with him, mate. It's not a problem, because fighting solves everything, and, and that's where we're supposed to do it. And I, you know, I would like to put forward an apology for um, you know, it getting into the street, but to be fair, his security attacked me. And I was he's over there, he's over there. Yeah, I see your job over there, mate. And, um, and at the end of the day, he, he, he security attacked me and I was just hey defending on. myself. So I, I, because I don't condone fighting in the street. And, and, and to be fair as well, you know, some of my antics, I will say, go outside of the remit and outside of the uh, 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 premises of MMA fighters. And it's not the way to try and get a fight. Um, and I don't want anyone else trying any stunts. I don't want anyone coming up to me attacking me in the street. And I don't want anyone doing that to him either, to be honest. Um, but this was, this was deeper at the end of the day. Something went down at FX3, he knows what I'm talking about. And at the end of the day, it's, it's time to get some, some payback. So August 6th, the score gets settled and after that, it's done. Let me tell you about FX3, this is how, how long he holds a grudge for. When he had a rematch with Nigel Witter after knocking Nigel out, you was in Nigel's corner and Jason was caught in an arm bar. Now this is how hard he is. Normally when your arm's hyper extended, you tap because you don't want to get your arm broken. Yeah. Reed is shouting out the corner, break it, break it! And he remembers that. His arm got broke. He wouldn't tap because he doesn't submit, he doesn't like giving up. And you'll honour that as well, Grant. How many times he's been punched to pieces, he will never give up. Uh, the guy just snapped his arm and he was in the corner shouting. I said, he remembers that. Do you even remember that? I don't believe I, I, don't believe I said that. Oh yeah, of course not, mate. Yeah. Of course not. In the hype at the moment, I've been in people's corner and you do say, you know, all you behind your fire, but he remembers that, he told no, me that and no, I, no, I didn't no, remember that. No, I disagree, that's a slur on my character. Even in, I've been in a lot of battles and I'm always keep my calm, always keep that gentlemanly, even show mercy when you've got, when you've got the other guy. Yep. I'm not gonna take the piss and I wouldn't be like that. So I think that's, he's got the wrong end of the stick there. Oh, well, it's all right then. Sorry, fights off everyone. No, I was, was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, he said sorry, sweet. <laughs> you know, it's been an interesting one. Um, I, in the words of Emperor Commodus, um, the crowd is fickle, you know, and, 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 and it's the truth, they, they really are. They, 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 they Twitter me and they say, you're gonna get smashed up, you're gonna get smashed up. Oh, I can't wait to see you get smashed up by Reedy. And I text them back, just make sure you're down there, mate. Thanks for the support. And they go, oh, yeah, go on, mate, good luck. Smash him up, smash him up. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been fun, to be honest. And that, I think the, the changing face of technology, um, it brings everyone closer to you. And in some cases, it's a good thing. Some people are, 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 are you know, rude, obnoxious, and all the rest of it. And, um, you know, internet, internet warriors, I haven't really got that much time for, to be honest, because you know I respect the people that get in there and do it. Anyone that gets inside that um, that cage, I've got the utmost respect for them. So, um, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Twitter's changed the whole game, man. It's, 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 it's changed the job that you guys do as the press, and I think it's changed how even you know Dave works as a promoter and and, and so many things. So um, I've been enjoying it. I mean, I'm not that good at it yet. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm sending more twats than tweets, but I'm, 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 get, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Are you going to be tweeting Alex through the days? You know, the long and short of it is, Alex knows what time it is. I've, I'm training, to be fair to you. I've not really got that much time to be hanging around the computer. You know, I'll check it at night time and see what's going on. He knows what time it is. He knows what's happening. Round two, he's going down, knocked out. So at the end of the day, um, he's going to get reanimated, detonated, socanated, <laughs> roxanimated, whatever you want to call it, anated. He's going to get that um, come all the six. <laughs> I'd just like to add, a lot of you press may not even know that Jason 
uh, I know he preaches a lot, but he actually was a preacher and he used to preach to the kids, take them off the streets and preach a sermon every Sunday morning. Can I hear it? Amen. Amen. <laughs> so he used to be called a punching preacher. Okay, guys, square up. Center up, guys. Square up, guys. Hands up. Hands up, guys. Come on, Alex, hands up. Alex, bit of respect now. Put your hands up. Come on. See, this is what happens. There's no respect. Alex, put your hands up and have a bit of respect for the photographers. Put your hands up, so, Put your hands up, mate. Well, one more time with your hands up, Alex, here. Come on, for, for, for the cameras. I want to see you ready to fight. Uh, also, I'll have to add, go on, any, Jace, also we have to add, we're going to 10% of your purses come up. Any more of this before the fight, 10% of your purses come up every time you do this. He's being disrespectful, Dave. Come on, then. He's off. He's off, quick. Come on, Alex, take one more shot. Come on. Take one more shot. He won't. I'll, I'll take another 10% of the go of his purse. Oh, one more shot. Dave, I'm sorry. Come back. Come back, sweetheart. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Didums. Come on, Alex. One more shot, Alex, please. Come on. Go on, stay. Think of the Rolex, Alex. Think of the Rolex. That'll, that'll fire you up, son. We'll get rid of that diesel watch. Get a nice Rolex around you. That's the shot. Hands up, guys. I'll just talk to myself, shall I? <laughs> just, you two do what you want to do. We're choking on. All right, big round of applause, please. Come on, let's, let's go. Thank you very much.